Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And we are underway from Miami. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Leading them out is the nine-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro. At quarterback, it's Dan Marino. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Nice play on the football. And while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he'll work this forward for about three and second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Oh, a solid step on. It's an open field. But he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 50 yards rushing for it as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation we were talking about with one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly, it's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. On the give, it's Warren. Down to about the 22 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Touchdown, Dolphins! Earl Smith Jr., a 22-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. They'll look to throw. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. And at 
after the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. They'll be led out by their electrifying signal caller, the former Virginia Tech Hokie, Michael Vick. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys he catches passes with it. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet it before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, it'll be hard to beat each and every ball game. The 49er great Patrick Willis in on the tackle. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Throwing, Vic. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. One quarter down, 8-0 the score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and 10. Vic now. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Vic to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It's a play fake. Now Vic steps away. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and eight. Again, it's Sermon. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 33 and a first. Eight nothing our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll try to throw it here, Vic. This is caught. Touchdown, 49ers. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are back within a couple of the lead. Jake Moody now for the point after. And it's up and good. So maybe a bit early here to try to match the two. They're content to trail by one at 8-7. to seven. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. 92 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. As always, no rooting interest here, but that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, though, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Now he's loose down the middle of the field and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Now Moody for the PAT. And it's
points up and good to make this now a 14 to 8 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's big. Yeah, he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To throw is Marino. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Moss. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now a handoff up the middle. Warren, and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And with that run, he's already at 100 yards here before halftime. So if he sees the same kind of action in the second half, he could be on his way to a career game. Marino sets up. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. Only a yard of the completion, it's second and goal. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And they will take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Jalen Roy, a six yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from moving out in front in the final minute of the half. They go high formation, fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost start, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Marino will throw, and this will be caught as they convert here for two. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. They'll set up the screen for Sermon. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. This will be the final play of the half. Vic looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report.
And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. The running left is Sermon. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he fields it cleanly. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. On first down, it's Warren. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 116 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And some room to run now. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 22 on a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Warren. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And his throw is going to be incomplete. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try to get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes, even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Marino. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score on one touchdown, you were two. <laughs> without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll try to run this one in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. And 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we back now in Miami. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Warren, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, it almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect, they don't get the two-point conversion here. The third time wasn't a charm. They got the first two two-point drives, still have the lead, but couldn't get the third. Okay, so they didn't get this one, but I have to ask you, what matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, and we talk about this a lot, but it has to be something, you're right, that they saw all week, correct? Definitely game plan for it. Felt good about being aggressive and going for it. And right up until that one, they've gotten two for two. On first and ten, here's Vic. This to the outside, it's Sermon. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. But this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this, and they're on the move here with a first down. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Vick will look to throw on first down. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning. They get an extra timeout. Extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart hey, football. Hey. Ready, ready. On second down, it's Sermon. And he'll go down at the 28. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Vic. He's got his man sharp complete. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now Michael Vick. And man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. They're going to try and run for it. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. Miami set to take over. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Second down, eight yards to go. Throwing here, Marino. He's got Smith here. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. 
This is third down now. Here's Marino to throw. And he is caught. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door of field goal range now. It would be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball. That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now it's Marino. Targeting the out route, and he completes this to Metcalf. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Marino to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Here's first and ten. Up the middle they go. It's Warren. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. What pressure as this thing all rests on the foot of Daniel Carlson. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And it'll be a good time in South Beach tonight. The Dolphins have won the game. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that could be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.